Hi everyone, happy Saturday, happy new year. I'm Joe for Jaspies Case Breaks and happy wildcard weekend. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and we're gonna start the day off with 2020 Panini Prism Football five box random team uh, break number three. This is mega box edition. No vet common ship, everything else does of course. One spot gets you two, so let's double you up. And there's all 32 teams right there. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Six and a two, eight times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eighth and final time, we've got Kevin down to Joshua. And then six and two, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and good luck. Eighth and final time. After eight, we've got the Seattle Seahawks. We're playing right now. Rams at Seahawks, Saturday the 9th, 2021, January. And with Patriots on the bottom, right? Perfect, after eight. All right. So Kevin with the Seahawks, Stanley with the Dolphins, nice. Joshua with the Buccaneers, we'll see them tomorrow. No, tonight? Is that a tonight game? Tonight, I think. Scott with the Niners and the Cowboys, Stanley with the Bills, Scott with the Lions, Kevin with the Washington football team, Stanley with the Panthers, Christian with the Jets, Stanley with the Texans and the Saints, Scott with the Cardinals, that's right, tonight. Christian with the Falcons, Joshua with the Chiefs, Laura with the Steelers, Stanley with the Vikings and the Colts. Colts. Man, almost almost pulled off the upset. Laura with the Browns. Christian with the Eagles. Uh, Scott with the Chargers. There you go. Kevin, you got my Raiders. Christian with the Broncos, my rivals. Stanley with the Bengals. Nice. Dave with the Bears and the Titans. Allen with the Jags. Joshua with the Giants. Kevin with the Rams. They're playing right now. Score 0-0 early in the first quarter. Allen with the Scott with the Packers. Allen with the Ravens. And Joshua with the New England Patriots. So let's get all that on one screen. Let's sort by column B. Stanley also has the Buffalo Bills who've won a playoff game, moved on. That's pretty nice. Christian is happy that he, uh, that, or Christian Collins is happy that he teased all of his Bills bets. Any trades, ladies and gents? We'll keep the video running. Make it a quick little trade window. I think I have all the supplies I need, all right? Top loaders, penny sleeves, I think I'm good to go. All right, trade window going once. Trade window going twice. Tick, 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 tick. TWC, trade window closed. Let's just print and rip. Let's get right to it. Five box right there, four five. Here's the final printout. Thanks everyone for getting in. Alan with that last spot mojo star. Thanks, Alan. Well, what did everyone think of uh, game one? Of the wild card weekend. Yeah, they did. They Colts were driving down the field in the fourth quarter. And then uh, there was a big Hail Mary that just didn't didn't connect. Christian D saying, uh, very good game. Tight at the end. It was pretty exciting. I have to admit, I was... Uh, I was a little delayed to the shop here because I was I was so wrapped up in the in that game. I think there were a few people saying yesterday they they were like, well, look, look at how the bill, Bills have been hot. They've been blowing out teams, and it's like, well, they've been blowing out not very good teams. I think this, you know, Colts Colts is probably one of the best defenses they have faced in a in a long time. So it was going to be tight. 
Colts play a lot of uh, zone defense, which apparently Josh Allen, which I just learned yesterday, which apparently Josh Allen struggles with. If he faces mostly man-to-man -man defenses, apparently he just shreds them. But zone, good zone defenses, sometimes Josh, Josh Allen gets gets a gets a little uh, a little confused maybe. But a very good game overall. Hopefully, all the games will be like this. Marlon Humphrey. So these are the one. The green pulsars are the ones that are exclusive to the set. Marlon Humphrey for the Ravens. That'll be for Allen. Seeing him in action. No, he's not on the field right now. Jonathan Taylor. I liked what he did today. He had some really nice moments. Could be one for the future. Colts. Stanley Smith with that. One to watch next year. There's uh, Kwan Short. Green Pulsar for Carolina. Stanley. And behind Damian Williams is a Nate Stanley. For the Vikings, that's going to be for Nate Stanley going to Stanley Smith and the Vikings. There you go. Stanley to Stanley. Phil Rivers retire, you think? Yeah, isn't that crazy, Eric? Phil's first playoff win in like 25 years. And if someone told Bills fans 25 years ago that they wouldn't win another playoff game in 25 years, I think, I think they would tell you that you were crazy. What does everyone think about Phillip Rivers? Is, does he hang him? Was this his last game? Was that Hail Mary, the last pass? So Brian Harrell, he's in Let's Go Bills, he's saying. Yeah, good win for them. I have nothing against the Bills. I'd like to see them win the whole thing, to be honest with you. Now, Jason Griffin thinks Rivers will be back next year. A trendsetter thinks uh, Bill's Bucks Super Bowl. I'd like to see that. That sounds like a fun Super Bowl. There's Lamar Jackson and Joe Burrow right behind him. Joe Burrow rookie card going to Stanley Smith and the Cincinnati Bengals. And Lamar Jackson Green Pulsar goes to Allen and the Ravens, the Purple Birds. There's Brady. There's Cam Akers, who, who moved the entire pile just a couple of plays ago. He was dragging a bunch of guys along. Yeah, he's hot right there. Devin Duvernay, the Ravens, we'll see him tomorrow. Does a lot of special teams work. He, I've seen him break off some pretty big returns. So someone to watch there. There's Kyle Juszczyk. And we've got uh, Brian Seip, sensational signatures, old Cleveland Brown, going to going to Laura in the Browns. And the Kyle Juszczyk goes to Scott Cohen. Lonnie's saying, 
Rivers has to come back. He's got too, got too many kids not to come back. He needs those game checks. These red ones aren't base, right? Or is this one base besides the ones that say Rookie? Do you know? I've, I, I actually said just ship everything. All right. That's because it, it might be easier because I couldn't yeah, tell. Yeah, I don't know what's base. All right. Or Synergy. Just shipping everything. Wolford in the red zone? Rams and Wolford in the red zone. Rams with five first downs already to Seattle zero. I think the Seattle hat had a couple. Oh, a designed run. It's a few yards. Uh-oh. Wolford banged up a little bit. He got hit in the helmet. Oh, a shoulder hit the helmet. Jeez. Uh-oh. Yeah, it looks like that was a bad choice, Adam. That design run. Uh -oh. The bell has been rung. There, there's Jared Goff. But I, I've still not seen any... Well, I haven't, I haven't looked recently, but I want to know where the pins are. Jared Goff has pins in his... Uh, his right thumb. Pins in his right thumb. I had a I had a football around here. Where'd that go? Found it. His right thumb. You kinda need that thumb to hold a football, right? I don't know where the pins are. The pins go in here? That part was dislocated? Ow. Sounds like that hurts. Anthony Miller, Jacob Eason. Michael Gallup for the Cowboys. There's Antonio Gibson, Keyshawn Vaughn. Antonio Gibson, Kevin Hull with the Washington football team. Let's see if he puts in work tonight. And we've got Isaiah Simmons, Green Pulsar, rookie autograph for Scott Corwin and the Cardinals. Is Van Jefferson, will, will he go off today? Next mega box. All right, so Wolford's walking off the field. Grimacing, I guess maybe, I guess maybe your neck get jammed up. Looks like. I guess what's the? I was gonna say, how does this affect my Rams plus four and a half? But then I was thinking, is there that much of a difference between a a bum finger Jared Goff and a John Wolford? Maybe there's not too much difference quarterback wise. And there's Devin Duvernay, green pulsar autograph. 
Alan Murdoch, last spot mojo strikes again. 60% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. It's one to watch tomorrow, Alan. And there's two at Tungo one to watch next year, Miami, Stanley Smith. Throwing, running, sacked. I don't know if you want your quarterback. Who, who's the, uh, who's the third quarterback? There's Julio Jones, Green Pulsar. Gabriel, Gabriel Davis had a decent day today. He, he's continuing the playoffs. Let's see what he can do. So they'll sell for the field goal. And the Justin Herbert. Nice. Chargers. That'll be for Scott Corwin. Bortles is inactive, says Eric Jennings. So there must be an emergency quarterback somewhere on that team. Did I feel like there's always like some random wide receiver that used to play quarterback in their freshman year of college before they changed positions or something random like that. Who is that guy? Has to be a guy. Or maybe was like a star quarterback in college or, or in high school or something like that before they turned into a running back or a wide receiver. Marksman with Liam Neeson. Who knew that Liam Neeson, if I told you 25 years ago that Liam Neeson would be a uh, action star, you'd be like, Liam Neeson? The guy in Rob Roy? I think he was in Rob Roy. All right, last mega box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. It's Max Crosby. Noah Abigno Ganey. There's a card behind there. And there's Terod Taylor. Nice Terod Taylor autograph for Scott and the Chargers. Van Jefferson. Wow. Eric Jennings saying that Alex Smith is ruled out for tonight's game and Taylor Hineke is going to start for the Washington football team. Dang. All right. Well, plenty of football to talk about throughout the day, ladies and gentlemen. Please uh, continue to keep joining our breaks and let's have some fun. Jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Random Team 3. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.